The worst case scenario for a venue is a planned attack. Bombs, guns, knives, smuggled into places where masses of people gather. US tech companies, though, say they have a new solution, AI weapon scanners. Express instantly differentiates harmless personal items from threats. But documents given to the BBC show that one of the largest US weapon scanning companies, a company that claims to detect all weapons, can do no such thing. We have the signatures for all the weapons in the world, all the guns, all the bombs, all the guns that exist, all the bombs, all the large tactical knives. They are marketing a system as detecting weapons that it cannot reliably detect. And it's just started being used in the Manchester Arena in the UK. What happened in Manchester five years ago was a horrifying reminder of what's at stake when securing venues. 22 people were killed and hundreds injured, many of them children. Traditional security at Stadia can be slow and costly. Metal detectors don't discriminate. You need employees to make secondary checks, lots of time and effort, and lots of long lines. Evolve, the human security company. Step in Evolve Technology, a company that boasts of a solution. Express uses the power of AI to instantly differentiate personal items from threats, making it easy for guards and frictionless for visitors. Evolve's claims on paper are incredibly impressive, that no weapon will go undetected. Their CEO, Peter George, refers to the signature of weapons that its AI uses to flag dangers. Metallic composition, shape, fragmentation. We have tens of thousands of these signatures for all the weapons that are out there, all the guns, all the bombs, and all the large tactical knives. This technology is used in some of the biggest stadia in the US, schools and even airports. But these companies are incredibly secretive about how and how well the tech works. The University of Southern Mississippi's National Center for Spectator Sports, Safety and Security. That's why when NCS4, an academic body that analyzes stadium security, was given access to the tech to review its effectiveness, many security insiders eagerly awaited its conclusions. Those findings were published earlier this year. They were glowing. Evolve bragged about how well they did. The results of that testing were very positive as we earned a score of 2.84 on a scale of zero to three. So Evolve's tech really did work, nothing to see here. That was until a security analyst made a freedom of information request to see the private report. Connor Healy works for the security analysis firm IPVM. This is the public report. It's 25 pages. And this is what they never released. This is the private version of the report with the full results. It's 52 pages. The public report missed out some crucial details that haven't been revealed to the public until now. NCS4 tested out the system at a stadium. Guns, knives and parts of bombs were all analysed. The system detected guns pretty well, but large knives above five inches in length, well, that was a different story. The report concluded that the overall detection rate was 58% in 24 walkthroughs. Evaluator feedback was that the system was incapable of detecting every knife and recommended full transparency to potential customers based on the data collected. When it came to large knives, Evolve actually scored 1.3 out of 3. Through certain categories of knives, uh, the system didn't detect them at all when they were brought through. And that completely conflicts with what Evolve has told the public. Uh, Evolve has told the public that their system, you know, detects all weapons, that it is basically a flawless system. Um, and this proves that that's not the case. But anyone reading that public report would have no idea that was the case because there is no reference to that low knife score anywhere in the report. Why? Well, the BBC has obtained emails between Evolve and NCS4 that shows that Evolve edited out references to how it performed on knives. On January the 19th this year, an Evolve employee was able to use the track changes feature to edit out an evaluator conclusion that knives were not consistently detected. The documents also suggest that the system may not always detect certain types of bombs and bomb components. However, the BBC has taken the decision not to provide further details for security reasons. 
We put all of this to Evolve, who didn't deny that these were the conclusions of the private report. When asked about the limitations of the tech, a spokesperson for the company said, We feel providing a blueprint of how to get around the security screening process and technology to the public will make the venues our customers secure less safe. BBC also asked whether the company had told the Manchester Arena about the findings of the report. Of all said, we work closely to communicate sensitive security information, including the capabilities and limitations of our system, so that security professionals can make the most informed decisions for their specific venue. We put this to the Manchester Arena six weeks ago, who said they did not wish to comment on security matters. NCS4 also said they stood by the report and that Evolve did not make direct edits to the reports. The track changes feature was used to collect feedback only. NCS4's report is so important because there's so little transparency about this tech. Evolve says the technology has been tested for use by the Home Office. When we approached the Home Office, they wouldn't say whether the tech had been tested, let alone how well it had fared. So should it be being used in the UK? Well, not according to Marion Oswald, who sits on the government's AI advisory board. We've not seen um, much evidence at all, and I think that's something we really need to see more of. Um, we need to see the results of independent uh, testing and evaluation of these systems, because at the end of the day, they are um, potentially replacing uh, metal detection and, and uh, physical searches that are uh, tried and tested there needs to be more public information and evaluation of this, these systems before they are rolled out. As for Evolve, well, they say they found tens of thousands of weapons in venues that they operate in. Evolve was founded on a vision to keep people safe. It's your right and it's our purpose. The question is, how many did they miss? <laughs> <laughs>